Understanding the phrase, be a blockbuster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, be a blockbuster. This phrase is quite popular in everyday English, especially in the contexts of movies, books, and other forms of entertainment. By the end of this video, you'll understand not only what it means, but also how to use it in your conversations. So, let's dive in. The term blockbuster originally comes from a piece of military history. During World War II, a blockbuster was a type of bomb powerful enough to destroy an entire block of buildings. However, over time, its meaning evolved. In the post-war era, the term began to be used in the entertainment industry. A blockbuster referred to movies, plays, or books that were hugely popular and successful, often because they appealed to a mass audience. In today's context, when we say something is a blockbuster, we mean that it's extremely popular and successful, often commercially. This phrase is most commonly associated with movies and books, but can also apply to events, products, or even business strategies. For example, if a movie is described as a blockbuster, it likely attracted large audiences, earned significant revenue, and gained widespread attention. Let's see how this phrase is used in everyday English. 1. The latest superhero movie was such a blockbuster, it broke box office records. 2. Her novel turned out to be a blockbuster, staying on the bestseller list for months. 3. In a business context, our new product launch was a blockbuster, surpassing all sales expectations. Notice how in each example, a blockbuster signifies something that achieves remarkable success or popularity. Blockbusters often have a significant impact on culture. They can set trends, influence public opinion, and even shape social and cultural norms. The popularity of blockbusters also means they are often the subject of much media attention and public discussion, making them an important part of contemporary culture. And that's a wrap on, be a blockbuster. Now you know the origins of this phrase, how it's used today, and its significance in culture and conversation. Next time you hear about a blockbuster movie or book, you'll understand exactly what's being discussed. Hope this video has been helpful and enjoyable. Keep practicing your English, and see you in our next video.